Chinese Canadian history is BC history. Whether it was building the railway and mining for gold, whether it was opening Chinese restaurants across Canada, that's the story of the Chinese experience. And that's why it's so important to have a museum such as this. We want to tell a story. How we lived and what we had to go through in order to get to today. There was a lot of hardship, it wasn't an easy time. But that hardship made the Chinese Canadians even stronger, made them persevere, and it made them part of the richness of our community and country today. It's important that we preserve these stories and the history because all these places contain Chinese Canadian footprints. This is going to be a different kind of museum and it's going to be really cool because it is a living museum, which means that it's not only about the past, it's also looking at the present and the future. It's a place that there's going to be ongoing discussion and dialogue about the brilliance and the vibrancy of Chinese culture and of their history. There's no question that knowledge is power and when people know better, they do better. Now more than ever, we need to come together, learn from each other, and to have conversations about where we want to go. The stories I hear of courage and commitment and overcoming adversity, that's the type of story that needs to be told. By putting forward $10 million to get things started, I believe we will have a world-class museum. The fact that this is gonna become a reality is gratifying. It's emotional, it's moving. And I'm just very thankful for all the Chinese Canadians who paved this way to where we are today. Our ancestors came here with nothing. And they had to work hard, and they had to prove themselves. And today, we're gonna to have a museum that we'll be proud of. Well, I'm feeling so optimistic. I'm feeling excited. It's just a beginning. But at least now with the funding, the work begins, I guess. <laughs>